I'm Annie Studebaker and I bring to you an abundance of knowledge from our South Texas rural communities. Follow me as I take you on a journey of inspiration and insight that will offer a deeper connection with people and businesses. Today we visit the Grace Armentrout Museum in George West, Texas. Filled with historical artifacts of decades past, this museum received much of its memorabilia from Grace Armentrout, a local with a history of her own. Let's visit with Sylvia Steele and hear all about it. Well, my name is Sylvia Steele and I'm the director going on seven, actually seven years with the museum. Uh, the museum is named Grace Armand Trout. Miss Grace was a, a lady that she never married, but she worked for the railroad and then she worked for the uh, uh, the highway department and several places. She lived on the property next door on the other side of the caboose and she decided to donate the property that she was living in with the understanding that she could stay there until she passed away and in the meantime she designed this uh, museum and had one of her all wells come in and that's how she built this museum. The city of George West took over the, the pool and the tennis court and her house and she lived there until she passed away. Uh, she collected, had a lady come in, she says, I used to work for Miss Grace and she threw nothing away. Everything was collectible. She had a lot of friends that traveled all over the world and would bring her souvenirs. Some of these souvenirs are priceless to the point that uh, they don't even make them anymore. Uh, like the carnival glass. It's just priceless. And uh, she, we moved, she had her parlor moved over, her bed that she purchased for $10 in Thai Boli. Uh, shows with her bed, uh, covers and things that were also made and donated. Uh, she was just a wonderful lady with the, with the love for the community and basically Live Oak County. She uh, loved the soldiers. I had a gentleman donate a, an old uh, depot and we refurbished it, sanded it. On our knees we scrubbed it and, and uh, had it moved behind the caboose and it is full of uniforms starting with uh, World War I uh, up to date uh, here at the museum that uh, ha are donated by pe soldiers and men that served from Live Oak County. So we're real, we're real proud of that and I, I feel like uh, she travels through this building every once in a while and uh, I think she's a happy lady that we have completed something that she had in her dreams and that was the Veterans uh, Depot with all the uniforms in it. When we return, Sylvia Steele takes us on a tour of the museum. We'll get to see a collection of antiques, photographs, and furniture unlike any other. Afterward, Sylvia will tell us about the founding of George West. You already know VTX1 offers the best in television entertainment. But did you know that we offer premium programming from HBO? Upgrade to HBO and experience hit original series like Game of Thrones and True Blood, World Championship Boxing, and the biggest and best Hollywood movies. Get seven great HBO channels and two more channels for our HD subscribers. All this for only $19 a month. HBO on VTX Wedding. We are your local provider. Call 1-800-446-2031 to upgrade today. 
The internet can be a scary place. Luckily, VTX1 has you covered. Introducing VTX1 Online Protect. Secure It Plus offers antivirus, parental controls, firewalls, and PC optimization, all to keep you safe. File Hopper Plus gives you simple access to online file backup, cloud file storage, and easy file sharing, all on multiple devices. Password Genie securely stores your passwords, shipping and payment information, and traveler numbers. Get all three for only $5 a month. Stay safe with VTX1 Online Protect. We are your local provider. this desk come from? Uh, it belonged to Sheriff Smith along with the lie detector machine. Uh, the family uh, donated to the museum and we have it on display. It's just enormous and uh, all the things work. Uh, right now it's a catch-all for all the pictures and all the collectible of, of information and books that we have of people and obituaries. We keep a record of the obituaries. They're also kept at the library, but we do, we do a, 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 every week we cut it out of the newspaper and put it here. So people do come over and want to see that. Let me tell you about Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart was an old cowboy, and that's him right there, and that's his hat. Wow. Every time he went through some brush area, the hat would get caught, and so <laughs> he'd have to he, sew it back up. He'd sew it back up. <laughs> so he greets everybody. That's Mr. Luther Stewart. He's one of them old cowboys. How cute! Well, he didn't want to give up his old hat, did no, he? No, <laughs> he did not. And he uh, he worked cattle over at the uh, Cartwright Ranch. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of that one. Yes. So. This is all of Miss Grace's family and uh, before they came to South Texas. Can you imagine wearing one of those hats? Yeah, <laughs> not me. No. But they protected, the ladies protected themselves so well from the I wonder sun. if I should try one on. Would you let me try one sure, on? Sure, help yourself. Let's see what I look like in one of this, this one. I'll take my pick. Let's see, you're taller. There we, there we go. Here's the mirror right here. Oh, wow. The details. This is the back? Yes. Here I go. Okay. Oh, how cute. Aren't they I precious? feel like little house in the prairie. Exactly. That is too cute. I think this would bother you. I'm already getting hot. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. Yeah. <laughs> How cute! And most of those were hers, and uh, they wore them. You know, just they worked in the garden, they worked in the fields, they worked out there with her chickens and whatever, and they wore those. Oh! And they protected their face. Great. Uh, from the sun, the sun. and from cancer. And That's true. Everything. So, now this is Miss Gracie's parlor. So this is the actual furniture that was in her house. And of course, they called it the parlor. Mirror. The parlor, yes, definitely. And there's her phone, which was donated by a gentleman that had it at his house. But that's she used one of those. So did she wear that going out uh, somewhere? <laughs> this one came from from a lady that wore it to a wedding. Oh, okay. You know, I've never seen a round quilted pillow. That is cute. Yeah, we make those uh, actually. Our best customers are the nursing home, and they put them around their neck. Oh, how cute. Okay, here's a display of guns. Yes. Those guns, of course, the pins are out of them, but uh, they belong to part to the Sheriff's Department and Miss Grace. Uh, the sheriff being Sheriff uh, Busby. And uh, you can see by the dates on them that they go back uh, quite collectible. This is a practice piano. Huh. She, uh, there was a lady that uh, taught the piano lessons and before they moved over to the piano, they would practice their lesson. Interesting. What have we got here? Okay, this awesome. is, is a mammoth wow. tusk. This 
is a mammoth tusk. Yes. My. Imagine all of this. And it came from the. All of this. From the uh, West Estate, which is the ranch that belonged to George West. It's down on 59 going toward Laredo. That is big, goodness. Yeah. So all of this is part of it. Very interesting. I did not know they had the main. We have a gentleman that's um, he's president of the uh, trustees, and he's an archaeologist. So you know that's that's so cool because he gives lessons and he also works for the college. So it, it's it's good. Miss Grace collected everything, as I told you, glasses. Uh, you name it, she got it. She has it. This one here. Screen. Oh, wow. Is that antique? <laughs> yes. Did you, but that's where she kept her... Her, her stash. Yeah. yeah. Good for a better <laughs> word. Yes, ma'am. Okay, me. turn it again. Close it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? It just blends a piece of furniture of a crystal. That is nice. That's different. Yeah, and then her. It's a little bar. Yeah, collectibles of, <laughs> of bottles. And then there's your, your liqueur. Okay, how nice. This mm. is a quilt. It's called a friendship quilt. And when somebody would get married, they would make these. And the gift would be because it was, there were poor times. Uh, people would sign them, make their square, sign them, and that went on a bigger part as a wedding gift. Everybody contributed to a quilt for the wedding couple. How nice! Isn't that something? That's really nice. So. Tell me about that piano. That's a player's piano. A player's and there's a piano. lady here a couple of days ago that's uh, the piano teacher at the school and she she played it. She, well, she played the piano. The the roles, uh, they, they don't uh, work properly. It's just, mm -hmm. they're kind of, they're kind of old and kind of wore out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me about this piece of furniture here. It's a that little desk. to a doctor. It's a desk, right? Yes, it is. It's adorable. It was a desk that was used <sighs> by a doctor in his office. And chair wow. and all, the medicines and everything. I really kind of, like that desk. And then uh, when she acquired it, she started putting deeds and papers that people could look at. And so uh, there was all kinds of collectibles in there that she had acquired. How so, much of the stuff in here belonged to Grace? Pretty much so. Everything. Pretty, pretty much pretty everything. Much, yeah. We've added a lot uh, since since then. We've added things that people have brought that were part of families that were her friends. Yes. And so, uh, surprising enough, people dispose of things. The kids don't want them, so mm -hmm. we have to, they bring them to us and leave them on the front porch, and we have to kind of look at them and make sure and do a little research and do research mm -hmm. to make sure that it's part of the live oak, it's part of a, the families mm -hmm. that lived here at one time. So, and as collectibles, look at what she collected. All of that cups. is she collected. She collected teacups. Cups, teacups. Buttons, thimbles. Hi, these are, tea, these are uh, creamers. Yes. You name it, she collected. Oh, wow, look at this one. Isn't that precious? Oh, that is. Tiny little thing. That is nice. This lady was one of the first teachers in George West. Huh. This lady here. Okay. There's a little story that goes with George West. Uh, the story is, and it's told now colorful, but George West uh, moved cattle since he was 
14 years old, he would take uh, the cattle to Kansas. And uh, he acquired uh, revenue with the cattle sales, and he, he had four brothers that collected, uh, saved their money, and they became quite prosperous. So Mr. George West, and that's his wife Kitty in the next picture, decided that um, he wanted a railroad to come to George West. So he went to talk to the railroad people. And this is a story how we tell it to the kids at school. Mr. George West went and talked to the railroad people and told them, I want a railroad to come through George West into Corpus and then back to San Antonio. And it was, a call, it was called the Gulf uh, Coast uh, Rail, okay? So he went and talked to the railroad people and he told them, I, I, this is what I want. And they said, oh, it's not a problem, but we need a courthouse, we need a school, we need streets, we need a hotel, we need a restaurant. All of these things have to be done. In other words, build, build the town and we'll bring you the railroad. He said, okay, I can do that. And we tell the kids, can you just picture them saying, yeah, right. You know, he walks out and they're, they're laughing at him, as per se. And he's going to do what? Build us a town? I don't think so. Well, lo and behold, he did. Wow, here's George West, Texas. That's a cute story. And he built it, and he went back, and he told them. Okay, I'm giving you a right away. I want the railroad. I got it. He got the railroad. He got the town. And these are some of the houses that he built, which are still standing for the city of George West. He built these. So that's the little story that we tell the kids so that we can keep for one thing, keep their attention, and then it becomes, you know, the Wild West. So. History has to keep going. And yes, who better than the children to repeat our stories? Hey, I know all about him. He, yeah, he built a town. You know, this kind of, but these are his homes that he built, and they're still standing. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll continue our tour of Grace Armentrout Museum. You already know VTX1 offers the best in television entertainment, but did you know that we offer the best box office hits? Upgrade to Showtime and experience the latest and greatest Hollywood movies and series you can't find anywhere else, like Penny Dreadful and Homeland, World Championship Boxing and Mixed Martial Arts. Get 10 great channels and 4 high definition channels, all for only $17 a month. Showtime on VTX1. We are your local provider. Call 1-800-446-2031 to upgrade today. Do you have an interesting story to tell? Share it with us. VTX Channel 1 is all about community, and that means you, your friends, and your town. If you know someone the world should know about, or if there's a place nearby that you think people need to visit, let us know. We want to make your community a part of our community. Give us a call at 956-642-1307, or send us an email to vtxtv at vtx1.net. Tired of the same old food? Are your taste buds bored to death? Why not try something delicious for a change? Treat your family to CNN Boutique and Market. CNN has something new every day from pasta, spinach wraps, and mango tea to breakfast croissants and fruit cups, roasted turkey, tuna salad, and tasty frozen treats. There's a whole new world of flavor. Visit our Facebook page to see today's menu. Pick up a bite to eat before the big game. And remember, we deliver. Add a little color to your life at CNN Boutique and Market. Open weekdays 6.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays 10 to 5. This 
dress here was a dress that the ladies wore to travel. When they got on the train to go to San Antonio and back that same day, that was the traveling dress. Hmm. And this one came from another state. The family traveled by wagon train. And you can tell how heavy it was because it came from the cold country. So it was thick too. Yes. But because it was cold. It's almost like burlap. Yeah. <laughs> but look at all the ruffles and, and the details in them. A big old slip. Look at this. This is heavy. Well, that kept yeah. them warm. Yes. Exactly. Look this at this. This was button. a fancy outfit. Yes. Definitely. And, and uh, to me, look, look at the, 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 de the details. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Tell me, this was whose bed? This was Miss Grace's bed. And uh, she bought this in the 20s. Uh, in a town called Tyboli. And if you don't know where that town is, it's by the coast, uh, past Victoria. And she went and she bought this, a whole bed. And then somebody made her the quilt. And you know, the quilt needs to be laundry, but you can't. You know, it might fall apart. Exactly. Yeah, the threads, you know, yeah, it's fine, it's okay. Yeah. Look at this phone. <laughs> and see how heavy it is. And it worked yes. like this? <laughs> okay. Operator, thank you for calling VTX. May I help you? <laughs> She's sweet. <laughs> you have more fun with her, don't you? <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> so, and of course, in here, Oh, is it a chamber pot or a there potty chair? <laughs> wow. The chamber that. pots were metal or what? Is this yeah. called a chamber pot? Yeah. Look at that's a high class chamber pot, isn't it? My goodness. So they didn't have to go anywhere. They just Step from the bed there and then the climb step. back up. Exactly. Well, if you had to climb on this bed, you'd need that step to get up there. <laughs> exactly. That is neat. What machine is this? Tell me what this is. Uh, this that's a separator for cream. You put your cream cans here, yeah. and uh, you turn this like this. Oh. It's called a creamer. So they separated the cream from yeah, the milk. From the milk. Yeah. Then they made butter. And then they made <laughs> butter. Isn't that something? This came from an ice cream parlor in Beeville. See the details, it's all of this. And uh, one day we'd get this call and they said, um, we have this ice cream uh, juice maker, you name it, we have it. It's in the alleyway. You want to come get it. Well, we had to go get a look. What do you call it? A lift to bring it because it's all it, it, it's 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 not movable. It's marble. It is marble. And inside went the ice, and that's how it looked when we got it. You know, our cleaning. That's Whoa. beautiful, though. It so is. this machine made ice cream. Ice cream, and, and you can and drink juice. sarsaparilla and, make... and lemon juice and. Um, Okay. There's this all your is the, drinks. one of the first machines like a, that made fountain drinks. Yes, it's a fountain drink, yes. It's a fountain drink, fountain machine, fountain drink machine. We had a gentleman do the top part, put it up there so it, it's got lights at work and everything. So. And what is this? Okay, <laughs> that we use it at Story Fest and, and it's heavy. I'm not going to pull it. It's a corn grinder. We have the other part of the machine out there in the back. Grinder. And it, and it grinds the, the corn. The other one shells. Yes. And this one oh, yeah, grinds. Yeah, this one's grind. <laughs> so that's what that is. They pull it out, take it to Story Fest, uh, the celebration, and uh, they get the corn and they put it in through the top and it makes all this 
grind. That's nice. Why everybody's watching, so yeah. then they can sell it. And then they That's set good. it up in tables. And Not a bad idea. Not a bad How idea. How nice. Miss Grace, she collected anything and everything. To her, the future was collectible. And as you can see, all of this are gifts, just like the caboose. And uh, it uh, was given to her in the 50s. She had it set up and she had it, uh, she had cactus growing all around it. Uh, because the other section of this, this is the Armand Trout Museum where her house was, that's the Cactus uh, Park. And the Cactus Park actually belongs to the city because she switched. But that's where she had the caboose and the caboose was called the Cactus Park Caboose until she was moved over here. And uh, we've cleaned it out. We've done everything that we can do to preserve it. It needs to be painted. Um, we do have uh, some help um, volunteers that are going to get us um, some monies to get it lifted up off the ground because it is sinking and it's been there all these years so it really needs to be preserved more. It's just that the finances, we're a nonprofit. We uh, operate on membership. And so what little we get is how we pay our bills. And, but uh, every once in a while, somebody will come along and they're very generous. And so and we appreciate it. And we'll take, okay, we've been wanting this, so now we're gonna direct this to, say, the caboose. So the Grace Harmon Trout Museum would like to host anything that you would want to have meeting here. Uh, it's open to the public. Our hours are in the afternoon, 1 to 5, and we're closed Monday and Tuesday. And guess what? We are open on the weekend. And why is that? Because everybody's traveling to the valley or coming back from the valley, and they stop and visit. So we're just real happy that uh, we're open on the weekend. I haven't had a weekend off ever. But it's not, it's not a problem. Come visit, we welcome you. Uh, we're real proud of this museum. Miss Grace, I had a vision, and the vision was, this is what George West, Live Oak County needs, and here we are. Just look for the windmill. If you ever find yourself in George West, make sure to stop by the Grace Armentrout Museum. Being in the presence of history, antiques, and collectibles always makes a great time. See you soon.